Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a trailer in iMovie for iPad. I'm going to tap on New Project and Trailer, and I'm going to select the template called Family, and click Create Trailer in the upper right corner. This is the user interface for editing trailers in iMovie. Notice on the left hand side we have an area of the screen called Outline and looking in the center below outline is a second tab called storyboard. I'm going to click on storyboard and show you what that looks like. All the elements within the outline and the storyboard can be edited and customized. Looking in the upper right hand corner of the screen we have a little preview window which just shows you all of the work that you've done. And in the bottom right section of the screen is an area where you select media from your iPad. Before you begin a project, it's probably a good idea to look at the outline and the storyboard and see what types of elements the template or storyboard is calling for. That's not to say that you have to stick with all of these different shots that are being asked for. But it is important that you plan your project and that you collect your media on your iPad, whether it be still images or videos, before you begin your project. So I'm going to click on the Outline tab, and all of the fields in here are customizable. So for example, for Movie Name, I might tap in that field where it says the Hold-ins, tap Clear on my keyboard, and I might say Math Lessons, and I might tap in the next field and say Clear, and Classroom 5. Then I can go down to the cast and I can customize any of these fields that I want. And I can change genders of characters. If I have too many characters, I can click the plus or minus sign. I click the minus sign if I want to delete some characters. I can click the plus sign if I want to add more characters. I can change the name of the studio if I want. Um, I could call it my school name. If I change the logo style, this is the logo that goes behind the name of your studio or school. So here's an example called Dandelion. The credits are simply just who worked on this project. I'm going to click on the storyboard tab. This is the real meat of the project. First, all the text is customizable. Notice that this pulled the words big school that I had entered in but I can tap in any one of these fields and I can change the text. Also notice the placeholders, the little thumbnails, um, which signify different types of shots and um, different kinds of people or objects. The first placeholder is called landscape. Now that doesn't mean you have to have a landscape picture in there, that's just a suggestion. But let's say I want to fill the landscape image with something from my iPad. I'm going to tap on it, and it becomes blue around the edges of the placeholder. And if I look in the bottom right corner of my iPad, I can see now I can browse my photos on my iPad that I've already taken. I can browse the videos that are already on my iPad, or I can activate my camera and begin shooting cam uh, images or video on the fly but I'm just going to click on photos and I'm going to go into my iPad media folder and pull in this Minecraft picture. All I did was tap on the image and it went into the placeholder that I had selected. iMovie then just moves to the very next placeholder and now the image of Miss Smith is highlighted and if I need to go back and browse through my media, I can click on the little arrow pointing to the left in the middle of the screen and now I can browse more of my photos and let's say I'm going to bring in an image of Miss Smith and that goes into the second placeholder and now it's looking for an image of Tyler. So you simply go through and add still images or videos to each placeholder. I'm going to add in some video into the placeholder called Tyler. So I'm going to tap on video at the very bottom of my screen. 
And then I'm going to tap on a video clip that's already on my iPad. And if I click play, it gives me a little preview of what that video clip is. If I click on the little arrow pointing to the left, it will insert that little section of video into my project. Another important thing to know is that if you make a mistake, you can simply tap on that item and you can either edit the item and the positioning of where it begins and ends while it's being played. It's called the Ken Burns animation effect. Or you can trash the item by clicking in the little trash can and replace that item with a different picture or video. When you are ready to preview your project, make sure you tap on the first image of your project and then look toward the center of the screen and you have two play options. The one in the center that has the rectangle around it will play back full screen. The one to the right that looks like a little arrow pointing to the right will just play back in that small window. I'm going to play back full screen and here's what I get. So if I want to continue editing, I can add more images, I can edit text, what have you. If I think I'm all done, I can click this little arrow near the top pointing to the left and it will take me back one screen. I can then export my video with a little export button. That's the little arrow pointing straight out of the top of a little square. I could trash my video or I could play it back. If I click the arrow pointing in the left in the upper left corner again, it takes me back to the home of iMovie. I hope this tutorial helps. Thank you.